Hello, beta testers. Gotham Knights, that recently cancelled its last-gen versions, has now cancelled the official Russian language version of Gotham Knights. Apparently, because of the Ukrainian invasion. Please, comment how this immediately makes you feel. And like, in the hopes that they see this and take the appropriate actions before they do more damage? And I know what you're thinking, but people in Ukraine speak Russian, and millions of people outside of Russia speak Russian. Whereas I'm obviously willing to believe that, of course, when things happen, it affects everyone. I can't help but think that this is a kind of chess that will allow them, when the game comes out, and then gets bad reviews, to claim, oh, it's just Russian bots because we did not make a Russian version available. What, Russian bots that bought the game because you have to buy it to leave a review? I, I think the, the most comical thing, of course, is that there are Ukrainians who speak Russian. This game feels like Marvel's Avengers 2.0. This doesn't end the war. The game you're showcasing where you're fighting four people at a time with unpolished animations and janky slow movement compared to Arkham counterparts. Ten years in the past. I don't care how much you want to distance yourself saying this isn't the Arkham game. You exist because of this and you deserve every bit of backlash that prevents fans from getting a, a an experience similar to this the gotham knights gameplay trailer so effortlessly achieved majority negative reception with over 34,000 dislikes that's with most people not even clicking the fucking button because youtube is whipped by you brands but i can see it we can see it and we can see you struggling floundering under the weight of the foolish decision to change something so core to what people expect out of this batman experience as the combat and it's worse mere months away from launch you guys are going full crystal dynamics failing right out of the gate to do things like showcasing looks that of course the fans would come to know and love. Models that are actually ready, maybe sexy, M finished. You're not thinking anything through. And I enjoy this now in a way that I'm going to be hated for admitting, but this might as well be an ARG right now for me, cause it'll clearly take the world's greatest detective to crack whatever the hell is happening with this game. I'm honestly confused, shocked, a language, uh, a culture can exist independent of some asswipe making foolish decisions that even the people close to him do not agree with. This if if done seeking backpats or celebration you know the same types of people scared to put titties on a, a lady but wanna get inclusion points for their video game if that's why y'all are doing this man i'm scared for y'all properly 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 and as eager as i am to watch what happens i have to feel so bad for comic book heads just looking for a a crazy cape shit game to just get high to turn the brain off with some friends and and have some fun that's too much to ask that would have been hard to make it was already made you could have just made that a bunch of years ago multiplayer that was hard this is history once again this is marvel's avengers once again, they knew what they had to do, but they had bigger and better ideas to execute worse than the superior ideas were back then. If anyone listening to this has access to that team, 
tell them to make it abundantly clear as soon as possible if they don't want to sabotage more sales of their game that just because the Russian version isn't coming out does not mean that there won't be a translation. They need to say that. They need to make that clear immediately. This, oh my God. <laughs> oh man. Seeing Catwoman walk alone saddens me because I know some woke developer considers it slutty when women with confidence walk this way. And in fact, strut, you know, you know like models do on a literal catwalk. Well, nah, nah, quality to them means including some, not all. So buff men, yes, but curvy women, no. Smart devs might look at apps or popular mods to games to inform them on the types of things that players are willing to pay for, you know, make some actual money. They might look at popular games and how they mocap these fluid animations seamlessly into their game, some taken right from TikTok, charging uh, $8, $10 a day for things that people gobble up. They might even be crazy enough to refer to previous games within the genre that they sort of pioneered to great success, but that's particularly crazy. What am I thinking? Gotham Knights expect an overcharge and under deliver, and they keep taking more from, from, from what's on offer every day. You know, they've altered the deal, Pr pray that they do not alter it further. As a Marvel's Avengers beta tester and historian, I can tell you the hilarious error that studios make in crafting looter brawlers with superheroes. The point is to be powerful. You don't have to tell Insomniac. You didn't need to tell Rocksteady. But these people need to be told. It's hard to balance superheroes who should be super, you know what I mean? With loot, especially when you don't know what you're doing. I truly hope, in the interest of avoiding another Marvel's Avengers disaster, that if this studio needs time to make this game better, they are granted that time, because when games like Marvel's Avengers run like this, for over a year after launch, we don't need more of it in the industry. Stop doing this shit. Stop making these decisions. Work on something you're passionate about. Work on something you are in touch with. Dodge this. I'm gonna tear your stupid head part. off your shoulders, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. What can I say? I'm irresistible. We need to get back to the cells. You take Brown. I've got Quinn. Yeah, right, right, right. He's Lucius Fox's son.